Good morning, Germanius. I'm Joe Warlock, and on today's episode, because I've just decided there are so many videos, they are now episodes. Today, we are looking at protectors, heroes, and crime fighters. Yes, from the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Avengers to the Justice League, and probably not the incredibly slightly rubbish Neo Knights. Points to anyone who remembers the Neo Knights without Googling it. Yes, it's Super Geek Box, and the theme is Guardians. So, Super Geek Box, $14.92 plus your shipping in the US, or £29.92 with your shipping in the UK. That is quite a steep price. And we will cut into it and see what delights we have. And the first item we have is very large, in fact. It is! I didn't realise that these were a thing. It is the um, awesome crossbow wielding Daryl Dixon from the zombie, sorry, Walker, never ending TV show, The Walking Dead. Get a look at his face. The fact that he actually has his crossbow gives it extra points. The fact that he looks slightly like Harry Shearer's Derek Smalls from Spinal Tap deducts points, I think. I don't know about you, but I've never really been a huge fan of fabrications. I don't like Funkos, I'm not too keen on Dorbs, and I'm just not mad on the fabrications, but they are well made, it's even got his jacket and everything and some doody little hair. Doody? Is that a word? It is now. So if you're a Walking Dead fan, you now have your very own Daryl Dixon to love and protect you from the onslaught of the apocalypse. Um, I've no idea how much these are. Up to about a tenner, I'm guessing? Not a bad item. Probably not for me. Moving on, we have... Okay. It's a magnet of Captain America and an incredibly minimalist design. In fact, judging by his scowl, he looks more like an evil adventure from South Park. And magnets really serve no purpose. This is a kind of throwaway item, to be honest. Unless, of course, you need your fridge or radiator defending from the Chitauri. Then, perfect. What more could you ask for? Except maybe something slightly more decent. We'll move on. And we have... I think a wallet, possibly. It is a uh, it's a wallet, a very minimalist designed wallet. Um, it has everyone's favourite all singing, all dancing Twig Groot, and everybody's favourite bin bag of air, Baymax from Big Hero Six. Um, I'm not really a fan of the wallet, but at the same time, I quite like the minimalist design of the wallet. Is that a paradox? No, probably not. But it is a wallet that you can keep your cash in. So I guess that's something. The next item feels very clothy. It is... Web slinging socks! Question. How does Peter Parker wash his Spider-Man costume without anyone noticing? You'd think someone in the laundrette would notice. Or does he just make them or buy them? I'm curious. And don't tell me Uncle Billionaire Stark buys them for him, because I'm not having it. Still, I guess when he relaxes, he probably shows off in a pair of Spider-Man socks. Um, not totally convinced of socks, but I do need socks because I have mutant feet, and my socks rarely survive the actual pulling on phase of the getting dressed part. They usually just rip in two. Ah, mutant feet. Spider-Man socks. Uh, they're okay. They're socks. You might like them. And I think the final item is going to be a t-shirt. It's got to be a t-shirt. It is a t-shirt. Ooh, it's a nice coloured t-shirt. Ah, yes, there we go. Check out that lovely design. Batman, Wonder Woman, and Random Man with a thousand yards stare. Look at him as his eyes burn into your soul. I'm guessing it's Superman, but there is nothing there that actually hints that that's Superman. Still, I do like the colour, the sort of um, ink printed sort of shading. It's very nice. It's a good thickness. Decent t-shirt. I always say it about a tenner. Some people go, ooh, about three pound. But I'm still saying it's about a tenner. And that is everything from Super Geek Box's Guardian theme. Next month, the theme is Challenger. Yes, Mario, Hulk, Kirby, and probably Andy Murray's face on a t-shirt. Just a thought. Or not. So let's check out everything we had in that box. We... Ooh, hold on. Ah! Not quite finished. We have the Super Geek Box badge. With Gal Gadot or Wonder Woman's very intense stare. I didn't see the badge, because it was hidden behind Daryl. We have a fabrication of Daryl Dixon, the cross-wielding maniac from The Walking Dead. Not a fan of fabrications, but it's got a bit of value to it. Very comfortable looking Spider-Man web-slinger socks. 
the incredibly minimalist design of Captain America. Not totally a fan on that one. The wallets were Baymax and Groot. And a very nice Justice League t-shirt. Yes, wear your t-shirt and support DC's Justice League. Because let's face it, they really do need it. So value, if you're in the US, your value might be there. If you're in the UK, is that going to add up to £30? Probably not. And if you get a customs charge, definitely not. But as always, I want to know what you think. So, did you get this month's Super Geek Box? What do you think of the theme Guardians? What do you think of the items? What's good? What's bad? What could be better? If you do want to grab yourself a Super Geek Box, I'll leave links down below in the description. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button because it really helps me out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.